Hello everybody, I'm on part 3 of my superheater videos so if you've not seen part 1 and 2 I suggest you, you, you might have to take look, a look back at them so you can get the full story but I'm just doing a video on superheaters for the for the, for the uh, absolute beginner in this subject that might not know what people are talking about when they're talking about superheaters as I was 18 months ago this is the superheater that, that I made in the previous parts so you'll see all that in parts 1 and 2 but this, this video I'm up in the smoke box now doing the, the other end and I'm just going to explain this for the absolute beginners of you out there that you know that it might help if you're just setting out in this in this wonderful hobby so this is in the smoke box then and I've got I've got two these two superheater tubes coming up from the firebox into the smoke box and I've got to connect them one to the cylinders one to the wet header Right, I am going to make the standard configuration with a non-superheated configuration so that I can find out for myself whether superheated steam on a sweet pea or, or whether not is best. So the superheaters, they're going to come up from the fire, from up the whole length of the boiler. You've got two of these. One of the, one of the pipes is the feed to the cylinders and then one is the feed from the wet header. So let's deal with the wet header first do this logically so steam's going to come to the wet header and then I've got to connect this stainless pipe to this wet header and now I'm going to do it I've made this made this adapter and it's basically very similar to the adapters that you'll use on this part of the non superheated type so it's a nut and an olive and that olive is going to be silver soldered flush on that pipe so I've got a square face to tighten up to, then I'll put a nut on and then I've made this little adapter half inch cycle thread so this pipe that's going to feed into the fire, the steam that's going to be soldered onto that pipe there then this this will screw on separately this copper pipe like that and then once I've annealed this pipe I'm going to bend it to give me the shape to go into my wet header then I'll silver solder it as, in, as per the standard one Right, so that's covered the feed pipe, so now the return pipe that's going to go to the cylinders, that's going to come up the boiler at the side of the feed pipe, and everything is very tight inside there, so you haven't got much room to work with. So that's coming up the side, and I've got to make another adapter then. Now, in this sweet pea book, it doesn't show you how to do this, I've had to make this up out of my head. So I'm going to use a standard half inch cycle thread nut. This isn't the nut I'll be using, by the way, this is just a, a mock-up to, to make sure I could do it correctly it'll be made out of brass and this piece out of bronze so I've had to put that nut onto this adapter and solder the olive from inside silver solder that is so that the nut spins on the olive on the behind the olive so I can get that onto my smoke box union and tighten this nut up that'll give me a steam tight joint then then this hole here which intersects with that hole that's where my stainless steel pipe's going to go in, tube, from my soup heater, up the boiler like that. And that's going to be silver soldered in. So, I have got some movement that way, for any slight adjustment. And I've also got, I'm going to be able to bend the stainless pipe, only slightly, one way or the other, if I need to, to get me lined up square with that union. And that's it really, I'll take you over to the boiler now, and I've got one set up, it's not finished yet, I haven't soldered it together yet, but I've got it set up in the smoke box, so I could get everything lined up and positioned, ready for when I silver solder it. So I'll take you over to the smoke box and we'll have a look at that then. I've just left the camera at that shot, so you can see where the wet header is, and that's, that's this copper tube, with that adapter on that I've shown you. That's going from the wet header, down to the feed pot pipe for the superheater and as you can see I'm just lining everything up now ready for soldering then this will have a nut on here to screw onto that adapter so that's the feed then the return pipe is underneath it here which is this adapter like what which I've shown you and that nut is going to screw onto the union to the cylinders down here then I've got to do the same on the other side I'm now ready for doing some silver soldering
So that's it really, superheaters, uh, as I explained from a beginner to two beginners.